Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Godspeed, where we provide you with a weekly market overview for your Lexus LC500 and other Lexus models. Family, I'm so excited to be back here with you again this evening. Um, it's been two weeks since our last market overview. I'll be honest with you, I've got a special update that I want to share with you, so please do stay to the end of the video where I will share with you what I've been doing for the last week that kept me from posting um, on Friday. This week, I want to put in front of you some of the best values that the market is presenting currently. All the way to the left, we've got a 2018 LC500 tinted with the black package. Uh, this is where we're doing the black vinyl on the grill surround, the front lights, the rear tail lights, and those silver or chrome, uh, what they're calling katana blades on the, the, the top of the Lexus LC500. So this one's already got that done. Um, it's got 35,000 miles and no dealer fees. So that's exciting. Um, all the way to the right, we've got a 2021 convertible, the cheapest one on the market. It's clean, one owner, no accidents, and it's got 23,000 miles on it for 85,995. And the special one of the night is the 2021 LC500 L certified with 19,251 miles. And this one's coming in for only $81,996 from our friends out in Birmingham, Lexus. So family, the community is definitely growing. So if you are here, do me a favor and like the video and subscribe so you can take part of our community only conversations and polls. Very excited about this evening's market review. Let's get into it. All right, family, let's see. This week, the lows are 59,994. So, you know, we've got a couple options here, but if you guys recall, right, unfortunately, you know, the flooded vehicle over to the right here, the 61,499, and then this vehicle right here has been, um, is a rebuilt title. So neither one of those are real optional. Um, I do see the price of this one. Just want to remind everybody that this silver one right here that's in Marietta, um, you know, this one was actually on sale for $60,000. So if that's something that you are looking at, make sure you take that price point forward with you. This one's an interesting opportunity. And I'll tell you, Lexus of Las Vegas is offering this guy. It's, you know, maroon, black interior. Um, it's not the Alcantara, but uh, it looks like a clean car, but it is high on the mile. So I already know what you guys are going to say. Uh, coming in at 61500 but here's the interesting thing about this. I can't believe this is actually certified. That's interesting. I've, you know, Lexus is certifying m more higher mileage LC 500s than I've ever seen before. So that's very interesting. Um, nice black one over here uh, from authorized dealer. Um, I know some of you guys are out there looking for some black ones. That's a good option there. I wanted to call out this one. You know, this is an interesting color that you just don't see that often I forget the name of it but um, you know it's a really amazing kind of chameleon type color there and while I'm not fond of this um, burnt um, or toasted caramel I should say I'll tell you what if there's one car the toasted caramel color works on it's this color right here and this thing's really clean especially that well actually it's only got 33,000 miles on it so you know that helps to speak to the cleanliness of it but it's in great shape um, you know it's a uh, Looks like it got some aftermarket, not aftermarket tires, but somebody's clearly, you know, dropped the Michelins on there. Those aren't uh, standard. So uh, this actually absolutely looks to be a good offering here. So definitely something to look into. A um, couple more LCs in that 60, you know, thousand mile price point. You know, here's a nice option here, silver. Uh, this one doesn't have those 21 inch wheels that a lot of us love, but let's face it. I mean, you've got a certified pre-owned vehicle, 38,000 miles, $67,000, not bad at all. Now, this is one of the ones that I debuted on my, my um, intro. You know, I really like this vehicle. I mean, it's a great color combo. Um, this one's, you know, fully stacked. It's got the, uh, the retractable spoiler on it, which it looks like they've either did maybe a carbon or they blacked it out to match all the blackout parts on the car here. Um, here's a look that I'm seeing a lot in Japan where that little piece right there where it's traditionally the color of the vehicle 
they're they're blacking that out and it gives this elongated um light effect right here yeah, let me know what you guys think about that i tell you what it's actually starting to grow on me um so definitely definitely like this one sixty seven thousand dollars thirty three thousand miles atomic silver with the black alcantara carbon fiber top not a bad option in the 67s right you know i'm excited to get out of i can't believe we finally made it to the end of march because i'm really excited to once we get out of this tax season to see how these prices act um really curious to see about that right this one's been dropping i've been keeping an eye on this one for um for cab dose dose right because it's got the the black uh and the dark interior well actually i take that back it's got the gray interior you want red interior oh no there it is i just talked myself into it um so yeah this one's this one's dropped prices you know what i just realized though this is a salvage report i didn't notice that until now so maybe that's not a good look for us cab dose dose um here's a good one right here though sixty nine thousand. 13,000 miles. This is that blue color, which, you know, I'm sorry, smoky granite mica, which always looks like it could be a different color depending on how the light hits it. Right here, it looks blue. You know, then here it looks dark gray. I, I, I'm actually starting to really, really like this color. If I was looking to do a dark color, this would absolutely be it. This one's got that red interior, though. The Alcantara, love that. 13,000 miles. 69 gosh if we could find some price wiggle in that one that'd be a great opportunity to go after right there a couple more options here you know interestingly enough i thought carmax was going out of business but they have been posting more lcs lately than ever before i mean this month i've seen more you know hard tops and convertibles coming out of carmax um so that that's interesting um not so much price point. I've been watching these two vehicles over the last few weeks. They've just kind of stayed stagnant, right? Not a lot of price points there. Um, loving this one right here. You know, um, it's a it's it's got fifty thousand miles on it, but it's a twenty twenty. It's the lowest price twenty twenty. We talked about it a bit. I'm loving this one. I'm loving this black one here too, right? Certified forty five thousand miles, seventy one thousand dollars. Both of those looking good as options. There's another one of those CarMaxes that I told you about. Um, low miles on this one, but I still feel like that price is a bit high. Yeah, this is a new one that hit, um, I think, er, this week. I love the miles on this one. Love that it's a uh, certified pre-owned. And here's an interesting one I want to, you know, a little tip that I want to share with you guys. So one of the things that I've noticed about Lexus is that, you know, they will absolutely get these pictures out here because they want them to be they want to hurry up and, and hit the market with the opportunity but look at this look at this right here on this vehicle now i had one that i was looking at and i tell you what i saw the price just drop week over week over week over week because i think people like myself would see this car and think i'm not paying that much money for an obvious you know um you know mismatch here in the paint or you know body work that needs to happen it was a probably about three or four weeks afterwards that I actually went to the Lexus dealership here and like look right here it looks like there's a dent right there so not saying that that's the vehicle that you want to buy but I do want to give you a heads up more than likely Lexus is actually going to be repairing all of that stuff because the opportunity that I was looking at I went up there thinking that I was going to look at the damage on the vehicle and it was actually being prepped for delivery that exact day somebody was picking up the car and all of the little imperfections that I had saw on screen were already a hundred percent fixed so I think a part of Lexus's um, certification you know pre-cert is to go back in and make sure that even any of the cosmetic stuff I'm not saying any of it but a good deal of some of the obvious cosmetic stuff is already taken advantage of or, or taken care of I should say not taken advantage all right yeah this was a new arrival I saw this one um, 21,000 miles certified uh, in that 75 price point I, you know I got to call this one out again right I'm not gonna spend a lot of time because I talk about it it feels like every market review but I haven't seen his price go down in the last week but you know this started out at eighty thousand dollars it's a nine thousand mile this one's got the carbon fiber so if you're listening to the channel for the first time today and you're looking for a low mile you know 2018 with top of the line everything you know this is probably one of the lowest mile options that I've seen out there 
you know, I'd love to see this one at 70,000, but to be honest with you, at $70,000, we would probably wouldn't be looking at it because somebody would snag it up very quickly, All right? Here's that one that I mentioned also too. Uh, no, this is not it. That's the salvage report. I, I expected that one to be 76. Um, I've been watching this one. I really like this car right here. I love the wheels that they've got on it. It's very tasteful. Um, you know, this one's dropped in price. I think it originally hit the market at about $80,000. This is a 2020. Um, it's keep in mind, we just we just literally looked at a 2018 for $75,000. This is a 2020 for 77 or 76, um, rounded up to $77,000. So 32,000 miles, I mean, you definitely got some opportunity there. I think if this thing drops another, you know, two thousand dollars and hits seventy five thousand flat for a 2020 yeah come on that's going to be a good option for somebody right there and you already got the aftermarket wheels on there for you love this one right here i still i still feel like it's just way overpriced and obviously car gurus fills it with me too but i think where they're going to get you know somebody possibly on this one is that you know it's black and in cab dos dos i know you're probably looking at this thing like crazy because it's black it's got the tinted windows it's got the aftermarket wheels i mean it looks amazing it's got the suspension on it already i can tell um it looks like it got aftermarket exhaust or at least the tips um if it's got red interior no it doesn't it's got the black interior but you know that's going to be a preference call right there that's definitely a black on black on black version for us Here's another 2020, 78,000 miles. I will say this about the 2020s. We've actually seen about three 2020s that are in that 78 to 71 price point. So it's interesting that, you know, we're seeing 2020s priced lower than 20s than a lot of 2019s. So that's, that's going to be interesting, you know. Well, listen, community members, I want to give you guys a heads up. I've got a couple polls coming out this week to capture some information around, you know, exterior and interior color choices. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, please take a moment right now, hit the subscribe button so you can get in on those discussions. And if you're already a part of the community, look out for those. I'd love to get your feedback. I put them in kind of some poll settings so that it's easy to kind of click and I get your data and it'll help me to kind of cater these messages and these videos to your liking. Okay. A lot of nice ones up here. Here's a 19. We were just talking about those. 19 certified, pre-owned, 16,000 miles. Not bad. I really like this one. Look at this. This was in my this was in my intro video too. I mean, a 2021. I love this. I'm in mean, and you know this this I think this was the Atomic Silver if I'm not mistaken but it's very clean i mean it's a 2021 it's only got 19,000 miles of course it's clean but it looks beautiful and for those of you who know right this one has the brighter uh, red interior than the 2018 to 2020s you know a little bit of a ding because it doesn't have the alcantara seats but i will say this i sat in the a black one i sat in a white a white lc with the black leather interior and i'll be honest with you you know it doesn't show the best on pictures but in person it really does feel luxurious it feels sporty even i mean i love the extra design that you get the boistering up here on the top so i'm starting to change my pivot although i, I do love the alcantara where i can get it but i'll tell you what i wouldn't steer away from this opportunity because i like the black um so i would imagine this red even looks that much better so guys you know some really exciting opportunities here and i wanted to you know end this call with a little bit of a you know a an update on kind of why i didn't get a chance to post last week and then also too you know just to give you guys an update on my journey for my purchase of the lc 500 so i'm super excited to share that last friday i purchased my new lc 500 um, if you guys listen to some of the earlier videos, I had a previous LC 500 2018 white red interior glass top. Um, it had about uh, 80,000 miles on it. So I got it for a ridiculous price. But when the when the market 
you know, spiked up and the values of vehicles got so high, I ended up selling my car and making a tremendous profit on the vehicle. Um, that was about two years ago. And so this weekend I was able to get me a white 2018 um, red interior Alcantara glass top 28,000 miles and it is beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you. I've got a debut short video coming out tomorrow. So please do look for that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be back in the uh, LC 500 to tell you it's these vehicles look amazing on picture. They even sound amazing with everybody's reviews and, and videos. But I'm telling you, ownership of this vehicle is it's hard to describe. I mean, it really is a connection that you have with this vehicle. And if you guys have watched the videos, you've heard people make that statement a thousand times. But let me tell you, it is a amazing connection. The sound, the feel, the look, the stance, the vehicle is amazing. So I'm super, super excited to have this this year. Didn't anticipate uh, pulling the trigger this soon, but got a tremendous opportunity on it. Um, and I'll share that a little bit more in detail with you guys later. So again, guys, Thank you all so much for everything. Um, please do hit the like button, subscribe so you get access to the, 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 the polls and the, the conversations that we're having in the community. I um, hope you guys have a tremendous weekend. Y'all please be safe. Godspeed. Thank you.